highlighted road. This feels weird. My clutch is squeaky. And a half miles. And I have about, I think it's like 180 miles until I get to Toke, which is the town closest to the Canadian border where I'm crossing into the Yukon Territory. But first, I'm gonna stop and get gas. I have probably plenty of gas, but at the same time, I really don't wanna push it. So today is gonna be about being safe and not running out of gas. This feels weird. I don't know if I like this yet. say yet. I'm still feeling a lot of different things and most of them are good but there's still some bad ones there so I'm probably not gonna film for a little bit and just drive so I'll uh, I'll see you guys when I get closer to Toke I'm not too far down the road yet but I saw this pull off and I'm trying really hard not to just blast through the entire trip and you know, stop at places like this, enjoy the road, enjoy the trip. I've been sitting here for two hours, I think, but I'm gonna get back on the road and see what other places I happen to see. Also, this truck is getting to be kind of a mess. My friend Rosa tells me that my truck is gonna be a mess as soon as I start living in it. This is, I'm sure it's gonna get messy, but this is pretty average so far. So take that Rosa. Also, you guys are probably gonna hear this throughout however long, I don't know how long it's gonna be doing this. Whenever it rains, there's a slight bit of moisture that gets into the truck and for some reason, it makes my clutch pedal squeak. So this, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a thing, so. over in Canada today or if I want to wait for tomorrow. Right now it's like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., I think. I stopped to eat some homemade cinnamon rolls that uh, one of my friends was sweet enough to make. McKenna, if you're watching, thank you. I'm about 150 miles away from the Canadian border. I'm trying really hard to not just like speed run through the entire trip like I did on the way up here. For those who don't know, I drove from Colorado to Fairbanks in like technically five days, but it was like the first day I left at like 8 p.m. So like basically four days. Uh, I'm gonna stop here for a bit, maybe make some tea or something like that. But let me show you guys the lake real quick. And here's the truck. Doing really good so far. I was kind of looking around and I think I saw a composition for a photo. So I might actually grab my camera and go take a photo. So if you guys want to see that, I'll post it here in just a minute. process of getting that photo and all the mosquitoes coming out I think I found another photo so I'm gonna switch lenses real quick and go take another photo and I'll show you guys that one in another another second the lights not as good now as it was like five minutes ago but still really pretty. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but there's some ducks 
way out there too. And there's home. This is technically, not even technically, this is the first night of living in the truck full time. That feels weird. <laughs> Slept in the back of this thing probably a third of the last year. But it's still, I mean, it's, it's so different being parked in front of this instead of my brother's house or the gym that I worked at. So like, it's, it's pretty different. It's cool. I like it, but it's very different. And I know it's going to take some time to adjust to. Um, I've been told to expect that it's going to be weird for a little bit, but yeah, I mean, this is a, Pretty best case scenario for night number one. So I'm gonna make some tea. I'm gonna get some dinner started. Uh, I think I'm just gonna make a, like a grilled cheese type thing with some lunch meat in it and hope that the mosquitoes leave me alone for a little bit. That'd be nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go raid my fridge, see what I have. Uh, Yes. Water. Yes, I do. If you guys ever get the chance, this is the best butter. Like, I, I will hear no debate about it. Sick. I thought I ran out of chicken. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this instead of just spreading butter around essentially a panini press with my fingers, but don't you dare. But this works. Also, this cheese is the best cheese. Again, I will hear no debate. Just a bunch of lunch meat. I have chicken, so I'm using chicken. And also some feta. I do not have very much left of. This is looking good. first because that would bother me if I didn't. And now we wait. I say it again. Also, if you ever want to make a panini or sandwich or anything like that tastes better, dip it in salsa. This also might be a hot take, but I think, just me personally, if you cut your sandwiches diagonally, you're doing a good thing. If you cut your sandwiches straight down the middle like that, you should go to jail. I think I got bug spray on my tongue. So I definitely loaded up on chicken, but not too bad, especially considering the view. I'd say it's pretty all right. Get a good scoop of salsa. solid. Tea has been made. The view has been taken in. I'm going to get going to my super mosquito-y dry cabin. I see three mosquitoes, four mosquitoes. 
wish me luck. So at this point, the, the main objective for at least the next five, 10 minutes is gonna be find every mosquito in this truck and kill it. <laughs> every mosquito in this truck has to become an X mosquito. It still hasn't set in. It has not set in in the slightest bit. This is my life now. <laughs> oh God, this is, this is my normal now. That's fine. That's kind of cool. So it feels absolutely weird. Very bizarre. And I, I can't even say how I feel about it yet because it hasn't set in yet. So like, I, like, I feel like whatever I say it, like that it feels like right now doesn't exactly fit just because I'm judging my, my life on how it feels to be on vacation. Like it just doesn't, doesn't really fit right now. I don't know if any of that made sense, by the way. I am rambling nonstop because I'm trying to process it. So welcome to the ramble fest, but I'm going to sit here, drink some tea, relax, just Stay as calm as possible. And I, I can't even say like watch the sun go down because it's Alaska and it's summertime. Weird. So at this point I'm pretty beat. You can probably see from outside is considerably darker and it's like 1 a.m. Yes, it's that bright when it's 1 a.m. Keep in mind, these windows are pretty tinted. So it's actually darker here than it actually is outside. I'm gonna finish my tea and get to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Let you know how my first night living in the truck goes. That's still so weird to say. So first night went really good. Yeah, no one came and messed with the truck. Mosquitoes kind of calmed down after a bit. All in all, really good night. I had a weird dream that my door handle fell off for some reason, but uh, aside from that, so pretty good. There was one person that just pulled up maybe like an hour ago. They were sitting right out there in a big diesel truck. It freaked me out so bad. I woke up to the sound of them doing stuff and in my head, they were messing with this truck, not their truck. The view is pretty sweet. Check this out. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to make coffee or just grab an energy drink from the fridge. I got lazy. I'm probably gonna get changed and driving to Canada today. If you guys are enjoying this so far, I do have more coming up. I am gonna be getting more into posting, hopefully once a week, at very least once every other week, but I'm gonna figure out which one I wanna do and then just try to stick to that consistently. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you in Canada.